So this is Dr. Stanley Lang. Welcome to this video. And I'd like to talk to you about a question that I get almost on a daily basis when I see patients, which is how can I avoid memory loss and dementia? Now, this is something that people worry about a lot. Uh, not too many people talk about it, but still it comes up at almost at least once a day. And I wanted to just share one concept with you because there's actually a bunch of different things that you can do to help uh, prevent memory loss. Uh, and the, the extreme of that probably prevent dementia. Now, we can't prove a prevention of dementia at this point because it would take many years of these strategies being tested in what we call a double blind study to prove it. But there's, there's, reasonable hope that these kind of paying attention to these kind of details will make a difference. Certainly it will make a difference in the age related memory loss that many people experience. There was a recent um, bit of research that was published and reported on at the American Neurological Association meeting last year that talked about microinflammation being associated with developing memory loss later in life. So if a person had microinflammation that was measurable in the sort of mid part of their life and they tracked them for 20 years, uh, people with higher levels of microinflammation had significantly more memory loss. People with lower amounts did not. And the, the so the question is, what is microinflammation? And uh, microinflammation is basically inflammation that's going on at a level that you can't fill. So if you uh, fall and scrape your knee, uh, it gets warm and red and um, tender, that's macro inflammation. If you get a bad infection and things swell up and it hurts, that's macro inflammation. Micro inflammation is going on at such a low level that you can't fill it, but tissue inside your body is being damaged. And there's lots of different things that contribute to to microinflammation, but the most serious one is insulin resistance syndrome, otherwise known as metabolic syndrome. And over 50% of people in the United States now have this condition. So this condition is leading to an increased, dramatically increased risk for memory loss and dementia. Now, how it happens is unknown, but it's probably related to inflammation both of the brain tissue and of the, the blood vessels that feed the nutrients and oxygen to the brain. And the, the key is how can you stop this insulin resistance uh, from happening? And the answer is very simple. You start eating in what we call a low glycemic way. What is low glycemic? It means eating in a way that the blood sugar doesn't shoot up after a meal. And it's simple to do. I'm not saying it's easy to do because it represents a big change for most people, but it is simple to do. If you don't know how to do a low glycemic eating strategy, I do have a free book that you can get by clicking on the link below this video or on the video, depending on, on where you're seeing this. And I encourage you to get it if you don't have it, because it will teach you what low glycemic eating looks like and if you follow this plan, it will completely reverse insulin resistance. In fact, I use this strategy to reverse diabetes in my patients. So if it will reverse diabetes, it will definitely reverse insulin resistance, which is a basically pre-diabetic state. So if you want to save your brain, if you want to protect your brain against future memory loss and dementia, then you want to decrease the inflammation in your body as much as you can right now and for the rest of your life. Now, there's several other things that you can do. I'm not trying to say this is everything, but this is the, the big elephant in the room. And it leads to lots of other things that are really bad, like it's the, one, it's the leading risk factor for heart disease. But in this case, we're talking about memory loss. So I hope you found this helpful. Hope you, hope you do it. I wish you all well. God bless and have a great day.